Actually, no, we're at we're at the home office with Rhonda. Awesome. Okay. All right. <laughs> Welcome everybody, man. We're excited to have you here today. And we've got the Wayne Wrights, man, the absolute power couple of Primerica. And uh, man, I'm so excited for them, their journey here. I knew the moment I met them, they were going to be somebody special, uh, especially extraordinary. We're all, we're, you know, and, and um, I just love to watch as God just continues to move in their business and their family. And man, what a great, and, and, and they're just good friends, man. They're just good people to know, you know? So um, I'm going to turn it over to the Wainwrights and have them take it away today. Man, I, I like that. We're we just good people to know. We, we, yeah. we are. Try. Yeah, you you all right. You all right. <laughs> hey, I didn't get my birthday wish. Yeah, yeah, you, we, we, I didn't sing, but I got you. I I got you coming. You know I do. I got you. We actually got another birthday today. They're, they're not on the line, but you know we're we, we're gonna send them a birthday shout as well. Um. So man, you know first hey, of all, hey, Rhonda, I I thought I thought I sang to you, didn't I? <laughs> no, it was Audrey's birthday too. Audrey's birthday was Saturday. Okay. Right, we got a few birthdays. All right, now that's awesome. Well, first and foremost, a uh, great morning, Accelerate Tribe of the Holy Spirit, Zoom Church, our Zoom Box family. I've, I've been kind of quiet on the calls. I've been, I've been, I've been uh, doing more quick listening and slow speaking. You know all that good stuff in the Bible. But I'm here. We're here, and we are happy to be in front of our Zoom Box family. Before we get started we definitely want to um just let's uh bow our heads those that are not driving and can and let's uh let's let's pray to the father heavenly father we come to you humbly in the name of your son jesus christ giving you all the praise and thanksgiving father for you alone are worthy to be glorified father we don't take this opportunity lightly to to bring forth your word father let you be glorified in all that we do let the words that flow from our mouths collectively father glorify you let it be all of you and none of us, God, we we decrease so that you may continue to increase. We thank you for your presence here on this call because we know that we're two or more gathered together in your name, that you are there in the midst, Father. So we thank you that as you're here, Father, we have a front row seat to your mighty move this morning, Lord. Let it be all of you again and none of us. We, we praise you. We magnify you. Glorify you. Bless and exalt you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Um, so. We're going to get started, right? So before we get started, we, we played a song this morning um, that encouraged, it always encourages me. Um, it simply said, God's not done with you. He's, he's not done. You know, and a lot of times we, we, we find ourselves going through days, man, that we might feel like, man, I think I've done everything I need to do, man. This, this is just it. There's no more movement in my life. And, and God's saying, no, nah, I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done. So before we get started, everybody that can, we're going to do a little exercise. We're going to do a little, little warm up before we get into it. So I need everybody that can to lift up one of your arms. You typically, you know, if you can, your off arm, the arm that you do not write with, right? Just lift it up just like this in front of you. And then take the other hand. And I want you to pinch that arm as hard as you can. How would you do that? Yes, pinch as hard as you can. I'm looking at people's faces, ah, and say, ouch, when you reach the point of, oh, I can't do anymore, right? Okay, so I'm looking at faces, and I know that there's some people that can't come on camera, but I'm pretty sure those people follow the instructions as well, right? So if you did that exercise, and you can feel some pain, guess what? You're still here. So we're talking to people who are alive, who are still here on this earth, people who are still able to, to move and and, and go about. So God is saying, hey, you're still here. It's not too late. It's not too late. You can still do it, right? So um, you can still accomplish everything that God has for you to accomplish. Um, you know, we, we, we um, have accomplished a lot. We've accomplished a lot collectively, individually. I'm pretty sure everybody on this call has feel that they've, they've accomplished a lot. Just some people getting to this day is accomplishing a lot, right? So um, we're going to start in Proverbs. We're going to go to Proverbs chapter 18, and we're going to go to verse 16, right? And of course, we're going to start in the Amplified Bible, the Amplified Version. And I got my, uh, my beautiful Bible reader here. 
she trying to tell me that she ain't gonna do it, but it's too late. She's slapping me up on the table. I'm telling you, just slapping me up on the table. And and I will, if you guys, if you see us looking off to the side, um, see, we had to remind ourselves this morning with that song that God's not done. See, we thought we were done raising children, but our child, our oldest child, has brought us her puppy, and so we, are, we God said, no, you're not done. You're not done raising because we got to take care of our grandpa. So he's been with us this whole week and uh, he is, um, he's very active, he's very active. So if you see <laughs> my, my Bible reader get up and take off, it's just because she's ch chasing our, our, grands, our grandpa, <laughs> right? So right, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 16, Amplified Bible. And uh, whenever you are ready, you, you go ahead and read for us. <laughs> A man's gift given in love or courtesy makes room for him and brings him before a great man. Yes, your gift will make room for you and bring you before a great man, right? So everybody's been given a gift. Some people have been given the gift of singing. Some people have been given the gift of singing. Some people have been given the gift of writing or, or everybody on this call, everybody that's listening, you've been given a gift. And not just one gift, God, he, he'll load us with gifts. Everybody has multiple gifts that they can use to, to expand the kingdom, to 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 you to be used to bring before great men, right? So those giftings that God has given to us, it wasn't by happy chance. It wasn't. It wasn't. He wasn't just giving out gifts. Or, okay, you look like you. I'm gonna give you that. No, He gave us all gifts to equip us for this life that we're that we're that we're living, right? So we're gonna stir that gift up. So next scripture, we're gonna go to Second Timothy, chapter one, verse six through seven, and and. I found this particular version to be interesting. So we're going to go to the new King James. I don't know who the old King James was, but we got the new King James on this one. So that's 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6 through 7. Let me get there. 2 Timothy 1. And I don't know about y'all, but my Bible app has done some updates. And um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know, I don't know how I feel about it, but we're going to get through it, right? All right, chapter six, I mean, uh, chapter one, verse six through seven, right here. Okay. That is why I remind you, in, uh, remind you to fan into flame the gracious gift of God, that inner fire, the special endowment, which is in you through the laying of my hands with those of the elders at your ordination. Or ordination. Mm -hmm. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity or timidity, T timidity, timidity or cowardice or fear, but he has given us a spirit of power and love, uh, power and of a sound love and sound judgment and personal uh, discipline abilities that result in the calm, well-balanced mind and self-control. Right. So stirring up the gift. Right. So stirring up the gift that God has given you. Um I like to say, you know, let's stir it up and stop being afraid. Let's stop being afraid of being great in God, right? So most of us on this call, we're in a particular business where we have to talk to people, right? And a lot of times we might hesitate. We have this list called a chicken list. You know, a lot of times we might hesitate to talk to people because of how we might feel, how we might view that person, right? But God is just, God is saying to us in life, not just in this business, but in life, Stop being afraid of being great. I created you to be great. I am, I, you're great because I'm great, right? So that's what he's saying. We're great on this earth because of the great I am. Like, like Stacy said, I am who I am. And I like it, you know, I said, I am who I am because I am said that's who I am, right? So because the great I am said I am, that's who I am. So we got to stop being so afraid of being great in, in, in God. You know, we might hear some no's you know, in, in our business or in our life, we might hear some, man, get out of here, get lost. You know, we, you know, we might hear in this particular business, man, I, ain't, I don't got time for them pyramid schemes, man, leave me out of here, and so on and so on. But, you know, we know God wouldn't put us anywhere, you know, we can't or won't be able to show others how truly awesome he is, right? So let's stir that gift up. Let's continue to stir that gift up. We still here, right? Y'all pinched y'all right? Everybody got pinched and did the exercise. I'm still here. So so why not be great? He wants us to be great. Let's go be great. Right. So um, and because we know that we go to Jeremiah now, Jeremiah one and uh, verse eight. And this is also going to be in the New Kings, James. 
I'm not replacing the Amplify, but you know, the Amplify amplified me to other uh, versions. Yes, Jeremiah 1, verse 8, New King James. Do not be afraid of them or their hostile faces, for I am with you always to protect you and deliver you, says the Lord. Yeah, so don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of others. Don't be afraid of men in their faces. Don't be afraid. God is with us to deliver us, right? So don't be afraid of other people. Don't be afraid to work with other people. Just because we might feel that somebody might be above us or even beneath us. Let's not be afraid. If God is, if God is directing us to, to be great and be great with others, let's not be afraid. So actually, same, same scripture. Well, let's look at that in the Message Bible. Thankfully, you know, we we are we get the opportunity to be on these calls with great people. And these great people have enlightened us that there are other versions of these scriptures that bring different angles of light to the same scripture. So I was reading this and I looked in the message Bible. So let's read verse eight. It starts right here. Don't be afraid. So don't be the, don't be afraid of a soul. I'll be all I'll be right there looking after you. God's decree. God's decree. He said, don't be afraid of a soul. Man, that, that did something to my soul when I read. Don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of a soul. Not nobody. Not a person. Don't be afraid of nothing. You know, he said, I'll be right there looking after you. God's decree. So anytime I see, you know, big, strong words in the Bible, I feel like Sheldon Cunningham. And I got to, I got to do some definition seeking. So the word decree, I went... You know, I got on my dictionary, got on, got on, got in Wikipedia. And the definition for decree is official order. And so God is saying, you know, don't be afraid of a soul. Or in, in my Amplified version, it says, don't be afraid of damn body. I'll be there. I'll be right there looking after you. God's official order. That's my order. So don't, don't be, don't be timid. I didn't give you the spirit of fear. I gave you, I gave you a spirit of, of a power, love, and a sound mind. There's no fear. Don't be afraid of nobody. That's my official order. I'm ordering you to go out here and go be great and go be great with others. You know, talk to people. Someone is in need. Some of that, somebody that we're going to come in contact with in life. It doesn't have to just be in business, just in life. Somebody that we are going to come in contact with is in need of our gifting to assist them in their lives and vice versa. You never know who you're going to meet out here. You know, my wife, a few years ago, she introduced me to this pretty awesome person. This pretty awesome, she was a pretty awesome young lady. And she, she's married to somebody, and he, he liked this football team, I ain't necessarily a fan of, but he's actually a pretty cool guy. He's a pretty cool guy. But she introduced me to this uh, this lady. Um, uh, I think it's a uh, uh, sensor, just, just said somebody, you know, uh, this, this Dominican, this Dominican uh, African-American lady. And we had no idea when we met this person that she would not only just be somebody who we looked up to, but she would be somebody that would open up her heart and open up her life to us. And we would be able to, you know, be amongst great people. You know, our, our gift, our gift of just being open and being, you know, pretty good people to be around, it brought us in front of a great person. And this great person, you know, she didn't just, you know, do it for us. She did it for all the people that she knows. So, you never know who whose life you're going to impact and vice versa, vice versa. So be open to it. Right. You know, we need each other to continue to expand God's kingdom. But this is what I love about, you know, the perfect gentleman, the God that we serve. You know, he wants volunteers. He, he doesn't want hostages. He doesn't want people that he feels like he's got to force to go do stuff. He wants volunteers, you know, and so. You know, the volunteers are the people that are willing to submit to God and, and work and, and co-labor alongside his people. Right. So that brings us to the next scripture, which is First Corinthians as chapter three, verse eight through nine. First Corinthians. And that's also that's in the Amplified. We back in the Amplified, y'all. Let me go here again. Bear with me. You know, they, they've updated some stuff. And like I said, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know yet. We're going to get there, though. Eight. There we go. So these two right here. He who, he who plants and he who waters 
are one in importance and esteem, working towards the same purpose, but each will receive his own reward according to his own labor. Mm -hmm. For we are God's fellow workers, his servants working together. You are God's cultivated field, his garden, his vineyard, God's building. That's right. So working alongside each other, right? We, we are, we're co-laborers with Christ and we're building this thing together. Not just, again, I was, you know, not just business, just in life. We're, we're building each other together. We're building each other's lives together. Each, each particular person in our lives, whether it was long-term, whether it was short-term, each person that we've come in contact has helped us build who we are today. It's helped us build and get to where we are today, right? So God's co-laborers, right? So, you know, we, we may have been, we may have been knocked down. We may have been knocked back. We may have been knocked off our square. We may have been knocked around, but the exercise that we did earlier, you know, we, we pinched ourselves, right? We pinched ourselves. Some of y'all might still see the bruises, you know, I'm not as light-skinned as some people on this call. So, you know, I can't necessarily see my bruise, but, you know, but we pinched ourselves earlier, earlier and we were reminded that we're still here. So guess what we weren't? We weren't knocked out, right? So, you know, God is trying to tell us something today. And if, we, if we're willing to listen, if we're willing to be open and listen to him, um, I think Joshua 1, verse 9 in the Amplified Bible will kind of bring this home. It'll kind of, kind of close this up as to what God is telling us today. So let's go to Joshua. Oh, yeah, Josh. Oh, there you go. Chapter 1, verse 9, also in the Amplified Bible. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified or dismayed, intimidated. For the Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go. Right. So we started this entire thing off by saying we're still here and it's not too late. It's not too late to go talk to somebody. It's not too late to be great in God. It's not too late to, to do what God has accomplished. God wants you to accomplish all the things that God wants you to accomplish, it's not, it's not too late. We're still here. And I think a lot of times, you know, I speak about me personally, you know, because I can talk about me. I ain't going to get offended by me talking about me. So, you know, a lot of times you, you get to a point where you feel like, man, I've, I've, I've done everything I can do. You know, I've done every, most people that know me know that, you know, I, I can, uh, I can carry a tune a little bit. I can, you know, I can put a tune in the bucket. I can carry a tune just a little bit. And a lot of times I get asked, man, you still you still singing? I'm like, well, not really, man. I say happy birthday to some, you know, to, to some special people. But you know, as far as pursuing the, the the music like I was, I just I don't have the desire to do it. And so, you know, sometimes you can get in your mind. The greatest battle a person will ever face is the battle in between their two ears, the battle of the mind. Sometimes you feel like, man, did I waste that gift? Like, what what why did I get that if I'm not gonna be, if I'm not gonna be famous like you know, these other famous singers? And so then you begin to question yourself. But God is saying, hey, man, hey, listen, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Don't be terrified and dismayed, intimidated for the Lord. Your God is with you wherever you go. So you may not be using that gifting anymore. But that doesn't mean that that's not the only gift I've given you. And there may be a need for that gift at some point. So don't let it go. Don't feel like you're, you just you have utilized everything and you're just no longer needed. No, I still need you. Uh, I'm not done. Like God is saying, I'm not done with you. There's still, there's still, who knows, man, maybe you might be leading praise and worship at the next convention, you know, where some of your peers are being honored. I, I have no idea. I don't know. But I tell you what, I'll be ready because I'm not going to be terrified or dismayed. I'm going to be, I'm going to be prepared to live out his scripture. I'm going to be prepared to utilize that gift that's going to put me in front of great people. And I say that to say the same thing to you all. Whatever that gift is that may be laying dormant on the inside of you, don't, don't forget about it because God's going to use it. He's not done with you, right? He's not done. And so as I come to the end of this, this time with you this morning, um, or in other words, as I get ready to close, anytime I get to any big test, any big test I face in life and, and you know, with this particular business, uh, there have been a few tests that I've been facing recently. And so anytime I get to a big, big test, I, I stand firmly 
on one scripture and one scripture only, and it's not in the Amplified Bible. It's in the message. I mean, it's in the message version. And it's Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. This particular scripture has, it's transformed. It's transformed my thinking um, in a lot of things that I do. Uh, verse 6. So anytime I get faced with anything that, you know, may may seem daunting or a task that may seem like I don't know if I can do it. Um, I just go right to this scripture in the message by in the message version. I take a deep breath, I center myself, and I go after what it is that God is telling me to go after. Be strong, take courage, don't be intimidated, don't give them a second thought because God, your God, is striding ahead of you. He's right there with you. He won't let you down. He won't leave you. So anytime you face a test, anytime, you know, you get to that, that name on the chicken list or anytime you get to that point in your life where you know God is telling you this, this is exactly what I want you to do. This is where, this is who I want you to talk to. This is who I want you to go after. This is the person that needs you more than you think. And you're going back and forth, wrestling with it, wrestling with God. Like I don't know if this is God. I don't know, but you know it is. You got that. Um, you got that. The, the spirit lining up with the spirit, saying, "You know it. You know this is what you're supposed to be doing." Deuteronomy thirty-one six. Let it pop up in your mind. Be strong. Take courage. If you don't read anything after those four words, just say, "Be strong. Take courage." But okay, if maybe maybe you feel a little fraud. Okay, I can be strong. I can take courage. Don't be intimidated. Don't give them a second thought. But what? No, that's a second thought. But how? But that's still a second thought. Don't give it a second thought. You, I'm, you know, you know beyond a shadow of a doubt. This is where you're supposed to be. What you're supposed to be doing. Don't give it a second thought. Because who? Because God, my God. See, it says your God, but I'm reading it. And so in my, it says, because God, my God is striding ahead of me. He's right there with me. He won't let me down. He won't leave me. So when y'all read that, it should say, be strong, take courage. Don't be intimidated. Don't give them a second God. Don't give them a second thought because God, Jacinta's God, Lakita's God, Anel's God, Don's God, Stacy's God, Linda's God, Rhonda's God. Because your God is striding ahead of you. He's right there with you. He won't let you down. He will not leave you. That's the God that we serve. So it, the, the test is just a test. And it's really just a test. God is the same. I want you. Do you really trust me? Do you really believe? Right? You pinched yourself. So you know, you, you know you're still here. You know? You're still here. It's not too late to be great. So my encouragement to my Zoombox family, my Accelerate tribe of the Holy Spirit is it's not too late to be great. So go be great in everything you do. This is the day that the Lord has made. So go be great. Go be prosperous, productive. Rejoice, be glad in this day. And, every, and then when tomorrow comes, guess what? That is still the day that the Lord has made. So go be glad and prosperous and productive with joy. And then the day after that, guess what? That is the day that the Lord has made. So every single day you have the opportunity to be great. My encouragement to you all from the Lord above is go be great because it's not too late. You're still here. Zoombox family, I love y'all, but we got to get up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome job, man. Awesome job. I love it. I love it. Man, what a great message. And and I'm going to say, I, I'm going to wait till everybody does, but you don't realize what you just did today. Um, and it is right in alignment with what God is doing, but uh, I'll, I'll save that. So, all right, Mr. Don, Pastor Don. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I need to get mine in before my voice goes away. It's not going to go away because I'm going to be great. I'm going to be great today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Dre. Amen. And Pastor Jessica. Yep. Yes, I said it. Yeah, I did. 
Amen. I tell you what, this 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 was just absolutely awesome, and I I just so appreciate you, and <clears throat> you know, uh, especially that last part you talked about. You're gonna be great today. When you wake up in the morning, guess what? You're still gonna be great because the God that we serve, He reigns and He is awesome and He is great. He is greatly to be praised. I'm telling you, we're gonna be successful in this business. We're gonna be successful in anything we put our hands to <clears throat> because God is leading us, God has given us the gift to do whatever we need to do. He has given it to us. So I, I just give God praise. I give him glory. I give him honor in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. That's all I got to say about that, <laughs> at least for right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Miss Lakita. Good morning, praise God. We're going to keep this in official order. Mr. Don Lakita, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you guys for your word. Oh my goodness. Dre, I love, man, you are funny. Like you are our comedian, <laughs> my brother. I mean, I, I just laugh. I just laugh. It's just like, before you even get on here, I know you're going to crack us up, but I praise God um, for you, for you all's word today. Decree official order and what i hear god continue to tell us day after day and what everybody's speaking about he's letting us know that we have assignments and just knowing that we've been told here for the, like the past few weeks that we're now in the land and i mean god just wants us to be confident with the posture to know what we have authority over with him like he's never He's never leaving our side. And I feel him in a part telling me how he's preparing us for this new movement. God wants us to understand that in everything that we do, we're honoring him. This is his work. And when we get into this work, we have got to be under his lordship, submit completely to him you talked about that in this word being bold being courageous and being able to stand up each and every day in him but guess what we can't lose sight he dropped in my spirit yesterday we're going to be so intentional in his movement that he does not want us to lose sight with the time that we put with him we can He's so steadfast and focused on the purpose and the gift that he put in us and yet stay into that part and leave him and not give him the time. He told me, I am preparing you all to be able to do both, Yay. to do stand guard and do both. You praise me. You give me your time and I'll give you more. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I love it, man. When you drop that, God wants volunteers. Mm -hmm. come on because he did he gave us a choice because you're right he's a gentleman he wants volunteers not hostages he wants people that want to get up and stand up and do this thing that's what he wants he wants soldiers mm -hmm. he wants lovers he wants people that endure all those things so i'm so excited i'm so excited because every scripture oh my goodness jay as you read every scripture it just was right in alignment in the steps that we are to go y'all if y'all can't hear this these are instructions mm -hmm. think sitting here like instructions these are instructions each and every I, i'm i'm excited thank you my brother <laughs> thank you my sister for bringing forth the word because i'm telling you i'm so full thank you for that and your obedience to keep speaking every one of you all mm -hmm. let's go amen 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 yes miss crystal oh dre and jess <laughs> dre and jess you all are such a power couple. I just love the two of you. And Dre, you said that you were a praise leader in your church. You want to? Well, I was. Okay, I can definitely definitely see why you were or still are. A uh, couple of things that you said. Um, your gift will bring you before great men. That is such a powerful statement. You know, and that gives honor to your gift, no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, you. It could be the most minute thing to you, 
but it's something that can propel you into the right spaces with the right people. Mm -hmm. You might not think it's anything great, but it is a gift. And a lot of times we ignore those gifts, even, you know, even the little smallest thing, we just ignore them. And the other thing that you said at the end, it's not too late to be great. It sounds like a t-shirt to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. but that kind of touched home with me because I'm uh, of a particular age you know sometimes you think you reach a certain partic a particular age that there's some things that you may not be able to do but that message that it's not too late it's not mm -hmm. too late for me to still be great mm -hmm. and I really, I really appreciate that so mm -hmm. much for one thank you for that message yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes. Awesome. Well, listen. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Um, before I before I go, because I know people start dropping off around this time. No call tomorrow. Okay. So just wanted to make sure don't show up. No call tomorrow. All right. Um, and uh, and we'll, you know, we've got the, the rest of the schedule is fine. I moved Natalie to, oh, I'm on recording too. Let me, I, I need, let me, I'll take that out. Okay. Um, we moved Natalie to the six, but, um, but yeah, no call tomorrow. And I, and I'm going to say this, I want you to practice what you saw, what you heard today, tomorrow. Okay. And je, I mean, Dre, first of all, let me say this, don't forget about the choir of the Holy Spirit, the Accelerate Tribe of the Holy Spirit Zoom Church Choir, yes. okay? <laughs> because you will still be using those gifts. And we yeah. will be having our, we're going to be having some weekend schools, you know, where we're going to need you up in the house leading, all right? The 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 choir. So <laughs> that would yeah. not, huh? No. Oh yeah, they forget about you, Lakita. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. You're gonna work on your solo. You're gonna your solo. <laughs> right. Um, but I I really appreciate this message and, and what God did to you because what I want you guys to what this was was the great commissioning. Okay. That's what happened today. I don't know if you saw it, but that's what happened today. He gave you everything. He gave you all the instruction for being sent out. And it's a perfect timing because that is the next move as we grow um, is you're going to you're it's time for you to go out. <laughs> it's time for you to be sent out. And that's what happened today. So I want you all to be be aware um, because it's something that God has been brewing, you know, in my spirit. And I didn't, you know, I'm, I, I'm still sitting with him to understand what that totally looks like, but it just, as I was listening to Dre's message, I mean, I just, my heart just started smiling in that I know that God is confirming that because he's telling me to do some things to, 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 to change some things that I don't want to change. Okay. I don't want to do it <laughs> to be honest, but, um, but I, I, I will be obedient because I know it is the best thing. And, um, and part of that is that launching out. So I, what I'm going to say to y'all is put this, keep this message on repeat for you um, because you must continue to be reminded of these things it's time for you to launch out. It's time for you to launch out. And you cannot, you must be strong, be courageous, know that he is with you. Like he said, all of those instructions, like Lakita was pointing out, don't take a second thought. Don't take a second thought. And when you catch, when you, it was just so, you know, it, it's so practical, Dre, the way that you brought it, because it's very much, it helps us. We need to identify when we're, the, another thought is trying to come in and you you gave a, a demonstration of that this other thought no I'm not going to take it I'm not I'm going to cut it off you know so um man I, I'm excited I'm excited about this because it really does just confirm another piece of you know God's timing in all of this 
And the fact that the harvest, remember, is always people for him. The harvest is always people. And so when he launches us out, which he is doing, mark the day, okay? Mark the day he's doing when he, the harvest is his people. And it's now time. That's and and that was always we talked about rebuilding. Uh, the rebuilding always happens with people. I mean, it, we can't get around that. And we're in this business for His harvest of people. You know. So um, yes, I, I'm really excited. Thank you guys for bringing that word. And you know, again, <laughs> I don't know if you realized what God was doing, but but. He just he just has laid out the Great Commission 2.0 here today. <laughs> and, it, and it was all hell. I was all hell. I'm, I'm reading all the comments in the, uh, in the chat. Praise God. That's all I can say. It was all hell. You know, <laughs> it, it's so it, it would have been so much easier for me to reach out to my RVP and just be like, ah, you know, I got to, I'm not going to be able to do it. You know, I got a stuff, a stuff going on, but I'm not... <sighs> Me personally, I'm not really big on excuses and I'm not, I'm definitely not big on quenching God's fire, right? Mm -hmm. So when it's time for him to move and speak, who am I to be like, God, I can't, man, I can't do it today. I got to, nah, just, just <laughs> go. No, don't give it a second thought, right? Don't give it a second yeah. thought. So this, this is all him, all glory to him. Every word I wrote, every word we spoke, all him, because if it would have been me, man, y'all y'all probably wouldn't even have seen us up here today. So this is all glory to God. Um, he knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Go ahead, Coach Steph, I saw you come off the mute, honey. I oh, did. So I'm, I'm, I'm out here looking. Hey, yes, sir. I got to get it in. But listen, I was cracking up over here because God is very specific and he's very simple in direction. He said, I am decree mm -hmm. go do go mm -hmm. be fear mm -hmm. not like these two word sentences that are power packed mm -hmm. and so dre and jess power packed <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and i just want to say how much i appreciate understanding that god has a time and a season mm -hmm. and so we know we've been in the season but when we're in the season for something, doesn't mean that it's his timing yet for harvesting the fruit. And we just learned today that it's harvest time. Mm -hmm. Two words, gather in. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to be in agreement vocally to say that I'm in total agreement with the decree, mm -hmm. that order, that divine order, that those steps that we are ready. He has prepared us. He's He had us in the cave, if you will, of preparation. Mm -hmm. And he has brought us out of that for great works. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, Jesus said, greater things shall we do than he did because of who lives within us. So thank you for bringing us into remembrance and then the impartation that surely took place. Mm -hmm. And then the response because whenever there is a word of truth coming forward, his word said that let it be established, you know, by the witness of two or more. And here we are gathered in this place to witness greatness in each other. And let's go do be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See Amen. ya. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so, yes, this is going to be awesome. So uh, tomorrow, practice, practice doing. Okay, practice reaching, practice not being afraid and not being discouraged. Um, launch out, launch out, uh, because it is, it is, it is time. It is time. Um, so yes, I'm gonna stop, stop recording and 